years ago, outside of a little dressing room in a blues bar in Chicago, I heard one of the most amazing sounds I'd ever heard. It was the sound of my musical idol, Sonny Terry, warming up on the harmonica. A little context, here's the history of the harmonica in 15 seconds. The harmonica was invented in the early 1800s. It was played around the campfires of the Civil War, the muddy fields of the Mississippi Delta, the Chicago juke joints, and that's basically all you need to get to Sonny Terry. Go to YouTube and find Sonny Terry Freight Train Rolling On. Great little folk song. It's acoustic, it's retro. It's not the style I play in now, but it's just mesmerizing. There's something magical about this, the way this guy plays. And I wasn't the only one who heard it. He was a major musical influence on Lennon, on Clapton, and on Nobel laureate Bob Dylan. <laughs> they all heard something when he, literally, Lennon and McCartney sat in Liverpool and listened to Sonny Terry records. They heard something magical as I did. The thing with the harmonica is, if it looks easy, it's hard, and if it looks hard, it's freaking impossible. <laughs> but I was determined to figure out what the magic trick was and about 20 years ago, I was lucky enough to get invited to join a band that's now called the Repeat Offenders. And, uh, thanks mom. And I <laughs> basically learned the magic trick in public. At first I thought it might be the ability to read sheet music, but then I read that Dizzy Gillespie was asked if he read music and he said, not enough to hurt my playing. <laughs> and that was sort of how I felt about it. So I set about learning my instrument. The little harmonica you get in your Christmas stocking is called a diatonic harmonica. You play in the second position to play the blues, which is holes one through six. You have to bend a note to get it from the minor up to the major, or in essence, to get from the white keys to the black keys of, of a piano keyboard. So I'm learning this. I got this great harmonica, Amplifier, it was actually handmade for me by a student of Sonny Terry's, uh, a, a specialized honer microphone. There's some electronics in there to keep the amplifier from screaming at you. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself at this point. And then I got the thank you note that took me down a couple of notches. I played for a group of grade school kids on a Monday, killed it. <laughs> and they wrote their thank you notes on Tuesday. My favorite thank you note said, Dear Mr. Price, thank you for coming to our class and playing. You are awesome. I wish I could have been there. <laughs> I took the harmonica everywhere in my car. If traffic would stop, I would pull it out and I'd play along with Sonny Terry. Sonny Boy Williamson, Rod Piazza, a modern master. One time, I completely swear this is true, I looked in the car next to me and the guy had pulled out his drumsticks and was beaten on the steering wheel. <laughs> Traffic jam. <laughs> my, my band leader, Charles Cairos, gave me a wonderful tip. He said, less technique and more emotion. And he told me that he'd seen a picture of a man sobbing in a field. And I went out to the parking lot and tried to duplicate that sound with my harmonica. And a guy came over to me and he said, is everything okay? I thought I heard a baby crying over here. <laughs> and I knew I had it. <laughs> and I actually figured out the magic trick after many years. I figured that you have to know your instrument and your technique and your equipment, but you gotta drop those away and just play from your heart. Play from the purest center of yourself that you can find. Remember why people come to see you. They want to dance with a joy that is one of the great things in life. Go see a blues band. I'm telling you, you will love it. You will never forget it. My favorite compliment goes back to that little dressing room. Sonny Terry actually invited me in. And he asked me to play with him for a few minutes, and I did. And when I was done, this blind black master of the harmonica paused and said, not bad for a white boy. <laughs> I would love to play for you. Come see me outside. Thank you.